What up y'all, welcome back, it's Jeff. In this video we're gonna see how to set up OBS software on a Mac starting from scratch. On the display right here you see I just opened OBS, I'm opening it for the first time. I'm gonna follow the instructions, it says, would you like to create an auto configuration for your OBS software? And I say yes, for sure I would. Usage information, they want to know, am I going to use it just for recording or for streaming? In my case, because I'm going to set this up for live lecture streaming, I'm for sure going to say, please optimize for streaming. Next thing they ask me is the resolution. This is the resolution of my current display. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, please do that. Um, they're asking frames per second, and they say either 60 or 30, but 60 when possible. I think 60 is a good one, so I'll leave it as such. Now they want to know what streaming service I'm going to use. In this case, I'm going to use YouTube. In order to use YouTube, I have to get a stream link. So this is where I'm going to go over to my YouTube account. Here's my YouTube account. Um, when I'm on YouTube, I can go up to the Create. I go down to Go Live. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's just taking a second to kick in. And in this case, I might call this home live stream since I'm in my home office. Uh, no, this is not made for kids. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and create stream. Now YouTube is going to automatically generate this stream key. So if I push copy and then I go over here and push paste, I will say, please be careful when you're doing this, that you do not show that stream key to anyone. This, you, if you have a private channel and you show that, other people can get into your channel and stream on it. So, got to be a little careful with that. Once I've gotten the stream key off YouTube and put it into OBS, you're seeing OBS run some tests and updates on my computer to kind of optimize performance, which is really nice from the standpoint that I don't have to do anything, just sit here and watch. They come back with a report that says, these are some of the things that we found. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, please apply those settings. Okay, now I'm in OBS software. I kinda wanted to show you this. I have in scenes, this is gonna allow me to um, set up my own. I'm gonna call this home live stream. In this case, I'm gonna add some sources. What I would like to do first is add some audio source. I'm gonna call this my Sam, Samsung mic. I have an old school scam, Samsung mic at home. Here you see it listed. My computer will automatically give that. The next source that I want to add is actually a display capture. I'm going to call this my left monitor. I have two monitors on this computer. I have the one to my left and the one to my right. So I'm just telling OBS that I'm going to call the one to my left, my left monitor. Here, that's display number one in the way that my setup works. I'm not going to crop anything. I'm going to leave it as such. Now I'm going to push OK. The last thing that I'm going to set up in my OBS software is a video capture device. And in this case, I'm going to call this my Logitech. Uh, that's the webcam that I'm looking at. What up, y'all? Um, here, what's really fun about this is that it automatically senses that I'm looking at the webcam. So here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up to the highest uh, preset possible. I'm not, um, so I think that's really good. It kind of sharpens up the image a little bit. And now what's really convenient is I have complete control over how big my little uh, image is in the bottom. Um, I also have control over which mic I would use. Um, so Right now, I'm going to turn the this Samsung off. Nice thing about this is this now OBS. I have one scene that is strictly dedicated to the capture of my desktop display. However, sometimes when we're doing videos, we want my we might want a full uh, full body. I don't know full camera capture. So I can create a different screen where in this screen, now I'm going to put an audio input. I already have a mic and I'm going to go ahead and call that the Samsung. And to be honest with you, when I go down and say video capture device, I already have a video capture device. Now I can switch in between my different 
medium. So let's say I wanted to be on and I wanted to give people a full headshot. I'd be like, what up, y'all? Blah, 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 blah. Or I can go on to this and be a little bit more pedantic about it. Um, I'll show you in the next video why this matters, having the ability to capture my screen, especially combined with the Wolf Vision document camera, um, really creates a, a beautiful learning environment to share with students.